Patrick. Yes. Is there an interesting story that you can let the listeners know more about HGAP Studios? Um, I think the most interesting story is how HGAP Studios has come to be what it is now. Damn, that's a Star Wars. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a freaking trilogy over here. Like, this thing's, uh, <laughs> yeah. How much time do we have? <laughs> No, man, I think it's really important to tell the story because I feel everybody is always hesitant to start something because of this or because of that or because of whatever, you know, it's always like some sort of excuse or something, you know, so I think it's very important to tell the story because I want to tell people to stop making up excuses and just go and do it, you know, no matter what. So... I guess I'll start off. <laughs> no, that's your passion. That's your creativity. Well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you because it's, everybody sees our studios. Everybody sees the space. Everybody sees all this stuff. And they're like, the oh outside. my God, these guys like, you know, have a bunch of money and, and this and that or, or whatever. Like it must be crazy to run this facility and all this stuff. And, and yes, it is. But <laughs> we didn't start here. You know, we got here. And I think that's what makes us so strong because we built this foundation rather than just going into something and just paying a bunch of money and all right that's it yeah you know so starting realistically hgap studio started from the bedroom of my mom's house um how young were you that was about five six years ago so this current date in time this current day in time okay yeah so i'm 30 now i was probably 24 25 damn yeah. I still have a chance. We all have a chance. It doesn't matter how old you are. Let's go. Um, but it, it, was, it basically came from an idea. And the idea was, we're going to start our own company. We're going to work for ourselves. We're going to have fun. And we're all going to work together. And we didn't know what we were going to do. But that was just the basic idea. And from there, we were like, hey, why don't we start, like, you know, a little photo agency, a little video agency. Um, and we bought a camera. You and bought another camera. Or right. Would that, right. <laughs> you bought another camera. Yeah, the, by, by then, the camera that I had as a kid, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, <laughs> you can't even use that. Like, now is when, like, you know, yeah, you, ha- you had to have a good piece of equipment. Yeah. So the first investment that we made into our company was besides actually starting the company and like actually going on Sunbiz and like registering the company. I felt that that was very important because we we placed our flag on the ground when we registered the company. And then the first real investment was when we first bought our Canon uh, 60D, I believe it was. Man, Canon's just like the origin of innovators right yeah, now. Yeah, 100%. And then it just, we started taking pictures, we started doing different things. Um, and then it came time again to survive. So we moved from my mom's house to a home where all four of us lived. And that's when things really took off. Because... One, we were already like, all right, like oh, everything that we're doing is cool, but we are starting to get a couple um, clients, and it's getting kind of weird to meet up at Starbucks, you know, or it's getting kind of hectic to set something up in our room to shoot something. So we were like, how do we continue to build the business and continue to build and survive for ourselves? So that's when we went ahead and we were like, why don't we all just move in together in a home where we can really take off this agency and that'll be our home office and it'll be our our studio, our home studio. And there we it all came in together and started shooting a lot more, starting getting a lot more engaged, a lot more projects. More and more companies started to talk about the work that we were doing. So referring other companies to us which was awesome and other agencies and models and different things we got some very very decent accounts in that house we lived there for one year until we were like okay 
this thing has picked up naturally on its own. We were all working day jobs to be able to afford the rent for the space, you know, but again, all knowing that eventually we would quit our jobs to just do this. Um, from there, we were like, all right, this is getting a little crazier. We're going to need an actual office now, you know, because it's getting very weird to take our clients to our home again. Before it was mom's house, now it was like our actual home. And we looked in the Winwood area because we knew that this area is a very prominent area. It's coming up. There's a lot of culture here. And we found this space on Craigslist. It was the first space that we looked into, the first space that we visited, and we came into the space. And the space is what, what it, when we moved in is was three thousand square feet. From there, the following year, we took over the space next door. Our business was doing a lot better, so we figured we could take over the space next door and start our co-working space. We saw the we saw the opportunity and we were like, let's do this. This is crazy, we don't have any money still and we're still living paycheck to paycheck, living, uh, still having our day jobs and all this stuff and and we were like, let's do it, balls to the wall, let's go, we'll make it work. We made that work and then the following year, the space next to that one opened up and same thing, balls to the wall, let's go, we'll make it work. Um, if you build it, they will come and here we are today little by little progression and then our business has boomed. So I hope you guys love this video and the videos that I have been producing. Let's go. I love the people, I love the guests. If there's any feedback that you'd like to give me, please let me know in the comments below. Yes. If you can please subscribe. If there's any way that I can improve on it, let me know. I'll be glad to hear it. And I also want to know what's on your mind. This is an ongoing conversation. Let's go. I want to you know, understand you guys more. I want to provide more value, more content for you. Yeah. So if there's anything that I can do, just please let me know. I'll gladly help out to the best of my abilities to provide you this content. You're crushing it, bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>